All right, you guys, the girls and I are back in Florida and we are in the Keys. Robert wanted to bring us down and go on a family vacation because we have been away from each other for quite some time now. And I am really excited. Rob just got on some lobsters, we're on the boat. The Johnson's family are with us and we are gonna have a ball. Meanwhile, Emma passed out on the way out. So, can't see it, her arms in the way. But I tied the life jacket to the pole so that she doesn't roll off. Yeah! That might be the biggest lobster I've ever caught in the Florida Keys. And this is what happens. I run the boat, Rob goes in the water, catches the lobster, and once he catches his limit, then he gets in the boat, runs the boat, and I get in the whole hunter. And I haven't been down in the Keys since Aria was three months old. I have not been down since, so oh, I'm just really excited to be out here. Nothing beats the Florida Keys. If you guys have not been to the Florida Keys, highly recommend going because there is so much to do. I mean, just going into a dive shop is fun. These guys, those things right up there, if you grab underneath them, they will drive them so far into your hand. It's crazy and they're really, really strong. They swim backwards and that tail is so strong. Oh, and it's smushy, it's a soft shell which means he just outgrew the last one. When you catch these things, you gotta have like a solid grip on them. Aria, open up that bait well. Perfect. There's Rob's other one. Here, watch out Aria, they're pokey. There it goes. Good job, Daddy. Thank you, honey. <laughs> I just dove, I caught my first lobster, and it blew my eardrum out. It hurts Mama, so bad right now. I have really weak ears. I blew this one out three times, this one out twice, well now this one's four times. It hurts all the way into here. Since I just got oh demoted to strictly boat captain, I will give you guys a couple tips on what you need to look for when you're running the boat. If it's mini season and you are running the boat for people in the water when they're diving You have to be way closer than normal to them because boats will cut in the middle of boats like So at such close distances, it's not even funny, but out here. There's no other boats Well besides Adam's boat behind me, but that's Adam. He knows we're diving um, when a boat is coming up You want to make sure your divers are I mean relatively close and you had to have a dive flag up So we got our dive flag Flying way high up there, um, that's mandatory. So that other boats know, hey, they got divers in the water, keep our distance. Um, now Robert just went under, he's got David with him. I will not run this boat until I know both of the guys are back up because they can get from point A to point B in a really quick distance. So if they're under and they're coming this way chasing a lobster and I put a boat in here and they don't know the boat is now above them, they're coming up into a hot prop. So. Always make sure you know where your divers are and make sure you know where other people's divers are. So I know Adam, there's two guys in the water for Adam's boat. Even though he's so far away, I know, hey, Casey and Adam are both in the water. Casey might have went in the boat, but I'm expecting two guys in the water. Um, so yeah, that is Sarah Arrington's tips of being a boat captain in the Florida Keys. Oh, and another thing. So since the tide is strong, you have to, when you come up to the guys in the water, you have to make sure you're not getting pushed into them. So stay like on the, I guess, downside of the tide is the best way I can describe it. So that if you get pushed away, you're going away from the guys, not right on top of them. Since we're talking about tips, I'm gonna give you another one. This is called, it's a 10. My hair is always in a French braid out here because my hair is like a crazy bird nest once it hits water. So this is a mask that I put in my hair. I lather it up, I braid it, and then as I unbraid it, I keep adding this stuff to it in the nice clean water when I get home. So it's manageable. So it's a 10. 
Not sponsored, but highly recommended. We came out here, had no numbers, no nothing. We just came out here looking for lobster. Uh -huh. That's what, exactly what we did. The current is all going that away. So we just separated. We all took floats and just made drifts. Pick it up one, two at a time. We got enough for dinner and it's a beautiful day. Now I'm gonna take Aria. We're gonna go do some snorkeling and just spend the rest of the afternoon as a family. Aria, what do you wanna do? I wanna go snorkeling. You wanna go snorkeling? Yeah. With your new gear? Yeah. Okay, say pretty, pretty please. Pretty, pretty, pretty. With a cherry on top? With a cherry on top. What about whipped cream? Yeah. Okay, what about sprinkles? And sprinkles. And sprinkles, let's do it. Fun. That was Arya's first time ever snorkeling. She put the mask on, put the snorkel in her nose, or in her nose, <laughs> in her mouth, put her head in the water, and started taking off with the fins on. She's never even wore fins, so she did a really good job. If Robert works with her, and I work with her in the pool a little bit more, Hold on, baby. Hold on. she's me killer. See him? <laughs> Hi, guys. Hey! That's one. <laughs> okay, you guys, we are done on the boat. I am fried. I can't hear it in my ear. Well, I can, but it's real muffled. And we just got to the house and the deer are everywhere. So we're out petting the deer. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. And they're a little key deer and they're endangered. So there's like cops everywhere. The speed, if you go above 30, you're getting pulled over. Um, but it's in Big Pine Key and it's really awesome. So if you guys have the chance to stay in Big Pine Key, uh, do it because you got a really cool experience. A bug just jumped on me. Check this out. Brussels sprouts cut in half, garlic salt, Everglades, butter, roll. Yum. All right, just throw it right on there. Oh yeah. Let's get the steaks on. We're gonna let these steaks cook for just a minute before we throw the lobster tail on. If you put them both on at the same time, the lobster tail will be done before the steak and we're trying to make them all come out at the same time. Come here, sweetheart. These things are gonna be so good. All right, you guys, it is late. It is like, I don't know what time it is. It's late, but we've had a long day and Emma fell asleep while everybody was still here. Rob is laying down with Aria now because she wanted daddy lay by her. Um, and the Johnsons family just left, so it is time to hit the hay. And we have to start all over again back first thing in the morning. And that is the one thing about the keys that everybody knows. You go bright and early all day long, eat late, go to bed, and wake up and do it all over again. So I will see you guys first thing tomorrow because tomorrow's gonna be another epic day. Rob. Say hi. What's up, y'all? We're getting an early start at about 11 a.m. here. Kind of the way we roll around here. Okay. Good morning. Day two is here, and Robert is going fishing with Adam and the boys, and the girls are gonna do something fun. Come on, Emma. Even though Emma's trying to run away from me. Emma, you can't go down these steps, baby. No, 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 no. Come on. Okay, so I am packing swimsuits, I'm packing a bag, I'm packing a bunch of stuff because I really don't know what we're gonna do, but we're gonna do something fun. So y'all are gonna go on the ride with me because we're gonna find out together. Bye guys. 
Hey, you guys have a great time. Seriously, we're headed to the Wild Blue Yonder. What time are you going to be back? Okay. Apparently, Emma wanted to go. Hi, Emma. I love you, Emma. <laughs> oh, jeez. Come on, Emma. We're going to go have our own fun. Come on. Come on, let's go have our own fun. Okay, Taylor. What's the word, girl? What are we going to do? Uh, go shopping. Where are we going to go? Key West. Key West, all right. Off to Key West we go. All right, you guys, lunch was great. We're at Blue Heaven, and I've never been here. Um, but it's awesome, it's outside, you sit down, it's very laid back, very chill. And now we're gonna go to the gift shop and then the girls want ice cream, so we're gonna hit up the ice cream. <laughs> oh my, look at that. Look at oh, what? All right, they're the size of your head. They're huge. Look, Em, it's bigger than your head. Those things are huge. Oh, and they put it within reach of the kids. Yeah, I know. Lovely. <laughs> he wants the sprinkles one. <gasps> Emma, do you want one? Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> do you want, hey, do you want cookie or an ice cream? Ice cream. What flavor? Chocolate. Chocolate? Yeah. With sprinkles? No. With a cherry? No. Just plain chocolate? Okay. Ooh. What do you say? Taylor, what are you gonna get? I'm gonna just get like chocolate ice cream with the cone. Mmm, that sounds good. But she, you first wanted spiteful cookie. Emma, Emma, do you want ice cream or a cookie? You want cookie, not ice cream? Okay. Whoa! <laughs> it's like she's eating a pizza. Look how big that cookie is. Wow, Emma. <laughs> Show me that thing. Come here. Show me the chicken. What does it do? Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, put it down. <laughs> what is that? What is that? A meow meow? A cat. What are you? A cat. A cat? It's a meow meow. Where's your mom? Oh, there she is. Sorry, I thought you went somewhere else. Come on, kiddos. <laughs> Talk about a lot of money. Yikes. I have never been down this part of Key West. Normally when we come, we only come to the Sunset Festival, which is going on every, I mean, they throw it every single night, but it's going on tonight, obviously. And I don't know if, if we're gonna go. So we're just down here. This is called Duval Street. And I've never been here and it's cool. There's a lot of fun stores and it's very touristy. So for those of you who like touristy things, hit up Duval in Key West. Super cute. You like it? Yes. <laughs> Alright, you want one? She wants to get one. Yep, Ari does. Oh, <gasps> look at Arya's! How cool! So pretty! Arya, do you like it? Now don't touch it, okay? Yours is gonna stay purple. Alright, you guys, Emma is passed out. Kids are tired, and the guys are just getting back from fishing, so we're gonna head back to Big Pine Key and see what the night brings. I don't know if we're coming back down to Key West or not, but it's been a fun day. It's hot, we're sweaty, we're tired, and we're ready to go back <laughs> and see the guys. <laughs> so we will see you guys in big time. What, look who's here. Adam's got a new nickname. What are you doing? It's Pukey Gus. Yak. <laughs> that was so funny. That hey guys. Was it was not funny, it was painful. Hey Pukey Gus. So he, he was doing his best funny. grizzly call. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, it's the best diet plan you will ever find. <laughs> oh, yeah. She's grumpy. You grumpy? It's only the fourth time I puked on a boat, and two of them have been with Rob. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, we made it back up here, and uh, we're gonna hit up the square grouper for dinner. And it's only 6:30, and I think this is the earliest we've ever eaten in the Keys. <laughs> Don't you think? I am worn out. Yeah. The boys went fishing. We went to Key West. Now we're gonna hit up some dinner and see what the rest of the night brings. 
We're out here. We got the whole lounge in effect. When dear mom goes out, she goes out in style. She got the VIP room all to herself. Alright, is it good? It's a good steak, bro. What are these? Wait. Get it. Get it off with your no, no, no. With your tongue. Come on. Yeah, you get it. You can't, you gotta bend it up. Yeah, you almost got it. You were like, get it. Come on, almost. Like, 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 no, it's down. Tilt it up. Tilt it up. Are those pants? Hey, like, are you sleeping behind yeah, you? Yeah, like, like, is it good? Holy shit, I'm so excited. Let me take your arm off. Okay, on that note, we're all going to go back to the house and call it a night. So I hope you have enjoyed the last two days of craziness, but we are here for the next week. So there will be no more videos coming up, but these, but this video was just of the last weekend. Um, the Johnson family goes home tomorrow, and after that, who knows what we're gonna do, but it'll be fun, and you guys are coming along for the ride. So I'll see you later on in the week. Take care, God bless, and we are gone.